I want to talk to you. A lot of people have asked me who Donald Trump's running mate should be. All right. First of all, it must be a woman. Here's why. That is where Donald Trump is weakest among independent women. Okay, so it's got to be a woman. He needs a woman because everybody's going to vote for Trump knowing he only has four years. They're going to know that when they vote for Trump, they're pretty much voting for his vice president. Okay, very important. I know who you want that running mate to be. Okay, I know we want Carrie Lake or Marjorie Taylor Greene. We want MAGA. I get that. The day is soon coming in America where we can no longer survive being governed from the far right or the far left. There will come a time in this nation where if we do not get back to more of a center, this ship will sink. We'll have civil war in America. So with that said, Whoever's going to take over the presidency after Trump needs to meet some of the following guidelines, some of the following qualifications. Number one, it's got to be a woman because Trump significantly underperformed with female voters in 2016. Only 41% of female voters voted for Trump. In 2020, 42%. So his substantial weakness is with white, suburban, single women, young women, and swing voter women. It's got to be a woman. I like, you know, the other people. I love Tim Scott. I'm leery of the vet. You know, I like what he says, but I'm going to tell you who I think his running mate should be. All right, sometimes you got to think, guys. You can't just go with your emotions. You got to think. Number two, she should be middle aged. She doesn't need to be old or even getting close to old. Why? Because she needs to be from 40 to 60 years old. Here's why she will become the heir in 2028 of MAGA World. Okay? There would be four years of service as VP, and then eight years as president. So she's looking at 12 years of service. Number three, she must be unfailingly loyal to Donald Trump and the MAGA agenda with a record, a verifiable record of defending Donald Trump during his many trials through the coup and through the uh, lawfare attempts. So, so we need a woman with a record of defending Donald Trump between 40 and 60 years old. Number four, she does not need to overtly seek, and this is important, media attention. She does not need to outshine Trump. All right? Follow me now. Trump is the man. There cannot be another Trump on the Trump ticket, not even a female Trump. She cannot love the media. She cannot love the limelight. She will have to play a quiet second fiddle. And for some, that's not easy. Number four, I'm sorry, number five. She needs to be perceived by voters, even independent voters, as a moderating influence on Trump's impulses and his relative political inexperience. Okay, so let me break that down for you. She needs to be perceived as gentle, uh, sort of the opposite of Trump, not brazen. She needs to be seen, you know, to where when people, if they don't like Trump, they can pull the lever holding their nose. I'm giving you wisdom. You may not like what I'm saying, but you'll find out it's true. Holding or they don't need to hold their nose. I mean, 
They, they need to be able to hold their nose and pull the trigger if they don't like Trump knowing that this woman is going to moderate him. After all, it's only four years and then she'll take over. Okay? All right. Number six, she needs to have a leadership role as a senator, a representative, or a governor. She needs to be up. She doesn't need to be a new maverick. She needs to have experience. Why? Because to the independent woman, Trump is inexperienced in their mind, okay? No political experience. She will moderate him. Number seven, she needs to appeal to moderates, independents, swing voters, and voters outside of Trump's base who have left the GOP. This woman needs to reach out and they need to know she's going to be the heir of Trumpism. Number eight, she needs business world, entrepreneurship, or military command position experience. And finally, she needs to help Donald Trump dismantle bureaucracy and the swamp. And she needs to have a reputation for already doing that. There's a lot of women that could be a great vice president. Let me name a few of them. Governor Kim Reynolds, Senator Marsha Blackburn, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, Representative Nancy Mace, Representative Lauren Babert, Nikki Haley, Carrie Lake. They would all be wonderful. And if he chooses any of them, I'll support them. Absolutely. But here's why I believe he should choose Christy Name of South Dakota. Number one, she was born in 71, so that makes her, what, f- uh, 40, uh, well, 52 years old. She's a wife, mother of three, grandmother of two. When her father was killed in a farm machinery accident, In 1994, she left college to run the family farm to which she added a hunting lodge, a restaurant, earned a political degree while serving in Congress. She did all of that. In 2010, after serving two terms as a member of the House in South Dakota, she was elected for four terms in the U.S. House of Representatives. Four times. She knows how to get elected. Next, she was elected as South Dakota governor in 18, re-elected in 2022 with the largest vote total in South Dakota history. She has a proven record of effectiveness as a governor. She resisted shutting down her state during the COVID pandemic. She is a fighter, but she will not overshadow Trump. She has passed the Trump loyalty test. She's committed to supporting and defending him. She has already endorsed him publicly. She could help Trump shore up the religious conservative demographic and as a Midwestern farm girl could boost the GOP efforts in battleground states with large rural populations. And she has endorsed Trump already. So agree or disagree, that's great. I understand. But from my insight and from what I believe, she will make the best running mate for Donald Trump. I believe that Carrie Lake should be the next senator from the state of Arizona to help Donald Trump in the Senate. Amen. So that's my insight. That's what I think. That's what I believe, ladies and gentlemen. 